Hey kids, what up? It's your boy Roy here with an extremely large hammer. What up? Because today we're gonna be talking about Smash Prep. But stop playing the bad Smash and start playing the good Smash because today we're gonna talk about the top three absolute worst characters of all time in Super Smash Brothers history. Smash Brothers 1, the original, the N64. Are you cringing yet? Super Smash Brothers 1, aka SSP1, was the first game in the Smash series which was released back in 1999. So with the newest Smash that just came out this year, this would be 10 years since the first Smash game came out. And the game still fetches a fair amount of money looking online, sometimes even more expensive than the original game. The game had the 8 original characters, with Mario being the best, proven here by factual evidence on my channel, and some other ones that I probably forgot. The game was a starting point that kicked off the series, and in my humble opinion, is the most definitive game of the series. Competitive Melee? Roy, please. But we're not here to talk about the ups and praises of this game. We're here to hold our noses high and dive right into the dumpster to sniff out the fallen pieces of leftover garbage that's been rotting like these videos I put out. The first worst character of all time in Smash history in Smash 1 is none other than the green is none other than the green colored miniature overgrown dinosaur Yoshi. As much as I liked him in Yoshi's story, Yoshi's Island, and Yoshi's Yoshi, he's a pure Tyrannosaurus prehistoric garbage in Smash 1. Here are his main problems. Problem number one, he's overgrown. Sure, he's a dinosaur and dinosaurs are big, but he's so big that he's so easy to hit. When he's paraded by baseball bats, Mario's fists, and Pokemon balls, he gets hit and hit and hit, even when the hit doesn't physically connect! This makes him an easy target. Why even bother to aim to hit your target? Just swing anywhere near him and you knock him out of the pock! It takes no skill to play against him. He makes the game way too easy, and you don't need skills to play against the Yosh. If you're not gonna play with any skills, why not just play a real game that takes some skills? Sure, he's a dinosaur, and dinosaurs are slow, but this dino is especially slow. He's got no agility and takes more than all of the Jurassic Age to turn 180 degrees. He's slippery when he runs, he's slow, ducky, and jumping, his headbutt has a weird hitbox, headbutt has a weird hitbox that's too big, his head smash has a hitbox that's too small. His hitbox on himself is too big, and his run cycle is too weak. His recover B up is unreliable. I mean, his recovery move has him do a quick dive down and then back up and then backwards a little and then forward. What is this garbage? He goes down like Walmart stock and then back up like going doors on a Tesla. Making it super difficult to predict where this egg throwing dinosaur reject is trying to go. You could be at the edge of the ledge trying to make it, but nope, you fall off the cliff. It's such a weird pattern. You could be trying to fly up and then you suddenly fly down at the end of the flight pattern. Or you could be trying to fly up and then he goes down into motion sensor. Bah! Next up for our worst character would be none other than Fox. I mean, even just selecting his name on the screen, the announcer makes his own remarks regarding his sweet disdain for this character. Doesn't that sound strange? Almost like something else? So why does this Twilight Reject suck so much? Here's exactly why. His control scheme is garbage. His laser hitbox is way too small and too easy to dodge. I mean, it's a laser! But why can't he aim up and down or to the side? He clearly can target above his eyeline in, in Star Fox 64, but he doesn't shoot up. He just looks forward like he's shooting into clear space. Just because he's Star Fox in space doesn't mean he need to be shooting in space! But when it comes to Smash, did he get Smash in common sense? He has way too much skid time. When you're running in one direction and you stop, he takes way too long to stop and turn around. I mean, he's a fox, but don't fox have agility? What? Does he have no traction? Did he get his nails cut? Is he too fast for his own good? What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with me? He's supposed to be a freaking fox! Why isn't he agile and nimble like one? Quick, quick and nimble, 
His smash attack misses half the time. Why does he throw his whole body at the bad guy? Why is the hitbox so small? Why does he do so little damage and so little knockback? Why does he keep moving after he hits the target? Why is it hard to aim his hit? But then he also runs way too much. He runs all over the place. He runs off edges. He can't jump for garbage. This guy's agile enough to do the splits, but he's not agile enough to run off the edge of the ledge. What? He runs faster than an AMD Threadripper, but not as fast as Intel. His BR recovery move takes way too much time, and it's so easy to knock him out. I mean, you can see him coming from a mile away. Not to mention that the fact that when he catches himself on fire, it lights up the whole hitbox around him, kind of like an aura of fire that makes it so easy to notice when he's trying to recover. Just go ahead and throw something at him, hit him, or just toss him out of the park. He makes getting lit a bad thing. His reflector thing takes way too long to activate, and by the time you finally be downed, you're already halfway across the screen, into the next level. Why does he control so stiff? Why does gravity feel like it's been doubled on his character? Why can't he shoot any faster if he already misses so much? Why can't he pull his reflector shield as fast as his gun? Why does he make that voice when he jumps? How does he do the splits in those pants? And for the third character, he needs an explanation. It's just... Are you expecting an explanation? Tough crap! Hey, kids! If you guys like what you saw, go ahead and hit that sub button so you can keep the updates on these stupid videos. I don't know why all y'all keep subscribing, but y'all keep subbing so I'll keep dubbing it over these vids. I have plenty more theories to prove and it'd be awesome if you want to tag along for the ride. So to answer this theory, is the worst character in Smash 1. The only Smash that count. But hey, that's just a review. A Roy's review! Thanks for watching!